Welcome to the news. We have some breaking news for you. We are hearing reports of a battle taking place between the Israelite army and the Philistine army. Hold on, no one has actually started fighting yet. It seems the two armies are camped opposite each other on sides of a valley. This is very strange. Let's go to our reporter Ruth, who is in the Israelite army camp. Thank you, Rachel. I'm here near the Israelite camp with a neighbor who lives nearby. Can you tell me what's going on? Well, there's a soldier in the Philistine army. His name is Goliath and he's enormous. He wears really heavy armor and he's very scary. He comes out every day and shouts over to the Israelite army. Here he comes now. Choose someone to come out and fight me. If you win and kill me, the Philistines will be your servants. But if I kill your soldier, you all must be my servants. Come on, let's fight. And why will no one fight him? Because everyone in the Israelite army is too scared. No one will go and fight him. And how long has it been going on for? It must be nearly 40 days now. He comes and shouts every morning and every evening. Thanks, Roberta. We'll keep you updated as this goes on. Back to the studio. Breaking news, we are hearing that finally someone is going to go and fight Goliath. Reports are telling us that someone called David is going to fight the giant soldier. Hold on, hold on, that can't be right. David isn't even a soldier. Reports state that he was coming to give food to his brothers who are soldiers and has now volunteered to fight Goliath. Let's go to Ruth who is at the scene. Ruth, can you tell us anything more about David? Reports say that David is a shepherd boy but has experience in killing a bear and a lion that came to attack his sheep. He has been given permission from King Saul to fight Goliath, but has turned down armour to protect himself. David is going to fight Goliath, and all he is bringing with him is a sling and five smooth stones he gathered from a stream. Okay, thank you Ruth. Um, we're now hearing reports that David is going to meet Goliath. Let's cut to the action. Whoa, amazing scenes there from the valley. David has beaten Goliath. He knocked him over with one stone and then cut his head off with Goliath's own sword. The Philistines have run away and there is celebration in the Israelite camp. Let's go back to Ruth. I'm here with David. That was amazing, you're really brave. Well, I'm only a shepherd boy, but I knew that God would be with me and he would help me defeat Goliath. That was God's battle. He helped us win over the Philistines. Thank you, David. Back to the studio. That was amazing. God helped David defeat Goliath. Do you know what God can do for you? He can forgive your sin and give you eternal life. All you have to do is turn from your sin and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. In other news, we are pleased to announce the winner of October's prize draw. Well done, Elon Watson. Thank you for all your hard work taking part in our quiz. If you want to be in with a chance of winning November's prize, enter the quiz using the link under the title of this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. See you next week.